Milton by Firelight. Paiute Creek, August 1955. O hell, what do mine eyes with grief behold? Working with an old single jack miner who can sense the vein and cleavage in the very guts of rock can blast granite build switchbacks that last for years under the beat of snow, thaw, mule hooves. What use, Milton, a silly story of our lost general parents, eaters of fruit? The Indian, the chainsaw boy, and a string of six mules came riding down to camp, hungry for tomatoes and green apples, sleeping in saddle blankets under a bright night sky. Han River slantwise by morning, Jay's squall, coffee boils. In 10,000 years, the Sierra will be dry and dead, home of the scorpion, Ice-scratched slabs and bent trees, no paradise, no fall. Only the weathering land, the wheeling sky, man with his Satan scouring the chaos of the mind. Oh, hell. Fire down, too dark to read, miles from a road. The bell mare clangs in the meadow that packed dirt for a fill-in scrambling through loose rocks on an old trail all of a summer's day. Rip Rap Lay down these words before your mind like rocks placed solid by hands in choice of place set before the body of the mind in space and time, solidity of bark, leaf, or wall, riprap of things, cobble of Milky Way, straying planets, these poems, people, lost ponies with dragging saddles, and rocky surefoot trails, the world's like an endless four-dimensional game of go. Ants and pebbles in the thin loam, each rock a word, a creek washed stone, granite ingrained with torment of fire and weight, crystal and sediment linked hot, all change in thoughts as well as things. This poem is for birds. Birds in a whirl drift to the rooftops, kite dip, swing to the sea bank, fog roll, form, dots in air changing line from line, the future defined. Brush back smoke from the eyes, dust from the mind, with the wing feather fan of an eagle, a hawk drifts into the far sky. A marmot whistles across huge rocks. Rain on the California hills. Muscles clamped to sea boulders, sucking the spring tides. Rain soaks the tan stubble, fields full of ducks. Rain sweeps the eucalyptus, strange pines on the coast. Needles, too, to the bunch. The whole sky whips in the wind. Vox swift. Flying before the storm, arcing close here, sharp wing whistle, sickle bird. Pale gray, sheets of rain slowly shifting down from the clouds. Black swifts, the swifts cry as they shoot by, see or go blind. This poem is for bear. As for me, I am a child of the god of the mountains. A bear down under the cliff. She is eating huckleberries. 
They are ripe now. Soon it will snow, and she, or maybe he, will crawl into a hole and sleep. You can see huckleberries in bear shit if you look this time of year. If I sneak up on the bear, it will grunt and run. The others had all gone down from the blackberry brambles, but one girl spilled her basket and was picking up her berries in the dark. A tall man stood in the shadow, took her arm, led her to his home. He was a bear. In a house under the mountain, she gave birth to slick dark children with sharp teeth and lived in the hollow mountain many years. Snare a bear, call him out. Honey eater, forest apple, light foot. Old man in the fur coat, bear, come out. Honey eater, die of your own choice, grandfather black food. This girl married a bear who rules in the mountains. Bear, you have eaten many berries. You have caught many fish. You have frightened many people. Twelve species north of Mexico, sucking their paws in the long winter, tearing the high-strung caches down, whining, crying, jacking off. Odysseus was a bear. Bear cubs gnawing the soft tits, teeth gritted, eyes screwed tight, but she let them. Till her brothers found the place, chased her husband up the gorge, cornered him in the rocks. Song of the Snared Bear Give me my belt, I am near death. I came from the mountain caves at the headwaters. The small streams there are all dried up. I think I'll go hunt bears. Hunt bears? Why, shit, Snyder. You couldn't hit a bear in the ass with a handful of rice. This poem is for deer. I dance on all the mountains. On five mountains I have a dancing place. When they shoot at me, I run to my five mountains. Missed the last shot at the buck in twilight. So we came back sliding on dry needles through cold pine. Scared out a cottontail, whipped up the Winchester, shot off its head. The white body rolls and twitches in the dark ravine as we run down the hill to the car. Deer foot down scree, Picasso's fawn, Issa's fawn, deer on the autumn mountain, howling like a wise man. Stiff springy jumps down the snowfields, head held back. Four feet out, balls tight in a tough hair sack, keeping the human soul from care on the autumn mountain, standing in late sun, ear flick, tail flick, gold mist of flies whirling from nostril to eyes. Home by night, drunken eye, still picks out Taurus, low and growing high, Four-point buck dancing in the headlights on the lonely road a mile past the mill pond. With the car stopped, shot that wild, silly, blinded creature down. Pull out the hot guts with hard, bare hands while night frost chills the tongue and eye, the cold horn bones, the hunter's belt just below the sky. Warm blood in the car trunk. Deer smell. The limp tongue. Deer don't want to die for me. I'll drink seawater. Sleep on beach pebbles in the rain. Until the deer come down to die. In pity for my pain. Oil. 
soft rain squalls on the swells, south of the bone inns late at night, light from the empty mess hall throws back bulky shadows of winch and fair lead over the slanting fantail where I stand. But for men on watch in the engine room, the man at the wheel, the lookout in the bow, the crew sleeps in cots on deck or narrow iron bunks down drumming passageways below. The ship burns with a furnace heart, steam veins and copper nerves, quivers and slightly twists and always goes, easy roll of the hull and deep vibration of the turbine underfoot, bearing what all these crazed, hooked nations need, steel plate and long injections of pure oil. Beneath my hand and eye the distant hills, your body. What my hand follows on your body is the line, a stream of love, of heat, of light. What my eye, lascivious, licks over, watching far snow-dappled Uinta Mountains is that stream of power. What my hand curves over following the line, hip and groin, where I follow by hand and eye the swimming limit of your body, as when vision idly dallies on the hills loving what it feeds on. Soft cinder cones and craters. Drum Hadley in the Pinacate took ten minutes more to look again. A leap of power unfurling left, right, right. My heart beat faster looking at the snowy Uinta Mountains as my hand feeds on you runs down your side and curls beneath your hip. Oil pool, stratum, water. What is within, not known, but feel it, sinking with a breath pushed ruthless, surely down. Beneath this long caress of hand and eye, we learn the flower burning outward from below. Through the smoke hole for Don Allen. One. There's another world above this one, or outside of this one. The way to it is through the smoke of this one, and the hole that smoke goes through. The ladder is the way through the smoke hole. The ladder holds up, some say, the world above. It might have been a tree or pole. I think it's merely a way. Fire is at the foot of the ladder. The fire is in the center. The walls are round. There's also another world below or inside this one. The way there is down through smoke. It's not necessary to think of a series. Raven and Magpie do not need the ladder. They fly through the smoke hole, shrieking and stealing. Coyote falls through. We recognize him only as a clumsy relative, a father in old clothes we don't wish to see with our friends. It is possible to cultivate the fields of our own world without much thought for the others. When many merge from below, we see them as the masked dancers of our magic dreams. When men disappear down, we see them as plain men going somewhere else. When men disappear up, we see them as great heroes shining through the smoke. When men come back from above, they fall through and tumble. We don't really know them. Coyote, as mentioned before.
two. Out of the kiva come masked dancers or plain men. Plain men go into the ground. Out there, outside, all the chores, wood and water, dirt, wind, the view across the flat, here in the round, no corners. Head is full of magic figures. Woman, your secrets aren't my secrets, but I can't say I won't. Walk round. Put my hand flat down. You in the round, too. Gourd, vine, blossom. Walls and houses drawn up from the same soft soil. Thirty million years gone, drifting sand. Cool rooms, pink stone, worn down fort floor, slat sighting heat shine on Jumna River. Dry wash, truck tracks in the riverbed, coiled sand pinyon. Sea bottom, riverbank, sand dunes, the floor of a sea once again. Human fertilizer, underground water tunnels, skinny dirt gods, grandmother berries, out through the smoke hole. For childhood and youth are vanity. A Permian reef of algae, out through the smoke hole. Swallowed sand, salt mud, swum bodies flap to the limestone blanket. Lizard tongue, lizard tongue, wah, 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 flying in and out through the smoke hole. Plain men come out of the ground. Wave, grooving clamshell streaked through marble, sweeping down ponderosa pine bark scale, rip-cut tree grain, sand dunes, lava flow, wave, wife, woman, with man, veiled, vibrating, vague, sawtooth ranges pulsing, veins on the back of the hand, fork dow, bird's foot, Alluvium wash. Great dunes rolling, each inch rippled, every grain a wave. Leaning against sand cornices till they blow away. Wind shake, stiff thorns of choya, ocotillo. Sometimes I get stuck in thickets. Ah, trembling, spreading, radiating wife, racing zebra. Catch me and fling me wide to the dancing grain of things of my mind. The wide mouth. A thick snow, soft falling, the whole house open. Snowflakes build up on a single dark green spray of pine. The sparrow, swung and shrieked, in a swish of snowy clustered points, shew his wide pink mouth. House cleaning, not a sound, white world, great trouble. Song of the Taste. Eating the living germs of grasses. Eating the ova of large birds. The fleshy sweetness packed around the sperm of swaying trees. The muscles of the flanks and thighs of soft-voiced cows. The bounce in the lamb's leap, the swish in the ox's tail. Eating roots grown swole inside the soil. 
drawing on life of living, clustered points of light spun out of space, hidden in the grape, eating each other's seed, eating, ah, each other, kissing the lover in the mouth of bread, lip to lip. Burning Island. O oh, wave god who broke through me today. Sea bream, massive pink and silver, cool swimming down with me, watching, staying away from the spear. Volcano belly keeper who lifted this island, for our own beaded body's adornment, and sprinkles us all with his laugh, ash in the eye, mist or smoke on the bare high limits. Underwater lava flows easing to coral, holes filled with striped feeding swimmers. O oh, sky gods, cartwheeling out of Pacific, turning rain squalls over like lids on us, then shine on our sodden, Scanned out a rainbow today at the cow drinking trough, sluicing off locks of crystal Buddha fields right on the hair of the arm. Who wavers right now in the bamboo, a half gone waning moon, drank a bowl full of shochu in praise of Antares, gazing far up the lanes of Sagittarius richest stream of our sky, a cup to the center of the galaxy. And let the eyes stray, right angling the pitch of the Milky Way, horse heads, rings, clouds, too distant to be, slide free on the crest of the wave. Each night, oh, Earth, Mother, I have wrapped my hand over the jut of your cobra hood, sleeping. Left my ear all night long by your mouth. Oh, all oh, gods, tides, capes, currents, flows and spirals of pools and powers, as we hoe the field. Let sweet potato grow. And as sit us all down when we may to consider the Dharma, bring with a flower and a glimmer. Let us all sleep in peace together. Bless Masa and me as we marry at new moon on the crater this summer. Regarding wave, the voice of the Dharma, the voice now, a shimmering bell through all. Every hill, still, every tree alive, every leaf. All the slopes flow, old woods, new seedlings, tall grasses, plumes, dark hollows, peaks of light. Wind stirs the cool side, each leaf living, all the hills. The voice is a wife to him still um ah hum revolution in the revolution in the revolution the country surrounds the city 
The back country surrounds the country. From the masses to the masses, the most revolutionary consciousness is to be found among the most ruthlessly exploited classes. Animals, trees, water, air, grasses. We must pass through the stage of the dictatorship of the unconscious before we can hope for the withering away of the states and finally arrive at true communionism. If the capitalists and imperialists are the exploiters, the masses are the workers, and the party is the communist. If civilization is the exploiter, the masses is nature, and the party is the poets. If the abstract rational intellect is the exploiter, the masses is the unconscious, and the party is the yogins. And power comes out of the seed syllables of mantras. Long hair. Hunting season. Once every year, the deer catch human beings. They do various things which irresistibly draw men near them. Each one selects a certain man. The deer shoots the man, who is then compelled to skin it and carry its meat home and eat it. Then the deer is inside the man. He waits and hides in there, but the man doesn't know it. When enough deer have occupied enough men, they will strike all at once. The men who don't have deer in them will also be taken by surprise, and everything will change some. This is called take over from inside. Deer trails. Deer trails run on the side hill, cross county access roads, dirt ruts to bone white board house ranches tumble down. Waist high through Manzanita, through sticky, prickly, crackling, gold-dry summer grass. Deer trails lead to water, lead sidewise all ways, narrowing down to one best path, and split, and fade away to nowhere. Deer trails slide under freeways, slip into cities, swing back and forth in crops and orchards, run up the sides of schools. Deer spoor and crisscross dusty tracks are in the house and coming out the walls, and deer bound through our hair. Pine tree tops. In the blue night, frost haze, the sky glows with the moon. Pine tree tops bend snow blue, fade into sky, frost, starlight. The creak of boots, rabbit tracks, deer tracks. What do we know? Why log truck drivers rise earlier than students of Zen. In the high seat before dawn dark, polished hubs gleam, and the shiny diesel stack warms and flutters up the Tyler Road grade to the logging on Poor Man Creek. Thirty miles of dust. There is no other life. 